always tough to like figure out like when it started. Um, I think it was kind of like wanting to make a movie that really uh, delved in to like uh, feelings of anxiety and, and fear and trying to uh, get at those emotions as purely as possible. Uh, so trying to make a film that uh, tells a story with mood and atmosphere rather than like plot and dialogue and I think it's just evolved out of that and then we tried to get um, like concrete as soon as possible so we found this abandoned house that the film takes place in and we kind of like oh what what could happen here and we cast Sandra uh, pretty early on and kind of like figured out like oh wow like uh, what could a film be that took, takes uh, place here with her and so um, so yeah it's hard to say like really like when the idea came it was kind of like a process I guess we had lots of references um, I think that at, at least as far as I'm, I think about the movie, it's not necessarily like a teenage uh, desire. It's more like a, uh, just like a basic desire to connect. Uh, to me, it's very much about like wanting to connect, but be, but being afraid of actually going for it. So, um, like the whole thing that the character struggles with is is uh, you know wanting to connect with this uh, this uh, guy in town, but uh, being very afraid of like. Um, you know, trailing a new path because uh, she's been so used to uh, the life she's uh, had up, up until then. Our biggest reference is uh, Claire Denis, uh, Trouble Every Day. Uh, it's kind of like the whole uh, way of telling a story in that way. It's so much about like uh, just it's so much about like the very basic feeling of desire. Uh, and I just thought that I was kind of blown away that you could make a movie like that, like so little social context, so little plot. It's just only about the feelings and the emotions. Um, so that was definitely the biggest, uh, biggest reference. Yeah. I think the reason for no dialogue, dialogue was that uh, we were trying to get at or like make a film that was about the, our most basic emotions. So we tried to remove like all social context and kind of uh, placing this film in this uh, other world where you're not like focusing on um, like the social factors uh, of her uh, existence. You're more focusing on like what goes on inside her. Uh, and try to really make the film a very subjective experience, very like focused on its character. Um, and I think the the no dialogue kind of helps that because it takes it kind of like um, like we can just see how it kind of like travels. Like it doesn't feel like a Danish movie per se, even though it's set in Denmark, because it doesn't really have any uh, markers of what you would think a Danish movie would be. So I think that was kind of. Um, uh, the plan behind that. It's obviously been a, a very close collaboration between me and the sound designer um, and we were like really um, trying to figure out like how concrete or abstract did we want to go like how uh, like is there like an actual physical presence in the attic of this house or is it more like a more like ghostly kind of presence and we kind of figured out that it's just more tactile and um, atmospheric if it's like actually there so we kind of figured out like like what could this presence be and we kind of went with um, this uh, very um, struggling kind of uh, breathing because uh, it kind of had that weird intersection where it has like weakness but it always also has this like creepy uh, factor um, so that was kind of what we tried to do there but it was very uh, interesting to kind of design a whole character after you shot the movie. Honestly, I think everything should probably just be shot on film. I just think it looks like more real and I thought that for this very project we're kind of like trying to really uh, suck the audience in, uh, like 
as we talked about, we don't use dialogue to kind of pull them into the story, so we kind of had to use all uh, our um, energy on like mood and atmosphere, and I think there's just something very uh, tactile and natural about uh, film, um, which kind of like just makes me at least like identify with the character more strongly, um, if that makes sense.